Is your Photoshop so small that you can even see the commands? It's really hard to manipulate. So I have a solution for you. So let me explain you first. So this problem is because uh, the old Photoshop like CS5, CS7, it's, it's not the proper software for, for new 4K screen. For example, I have a Microsoft Surface laptop and the monitor is 4K, so that's why it's not scaling uh, properly all the letters. So with this simple trick, at least I have compared my software, I can use it and, and I don't have to get a new software. Okay, so the first step, we have to go here and here in the search box, we type regedit. Regedit. And we're gonna open this command and it's it's gonna ask, we're gonna click on yes. And now we're gonna navigate where it say H key local machine software. So on this arrow, drop this one where it says software, drop this one. Now we look for Microsoft Windows current version. So it will be on till the W where it say just Windows current version and side to side here side to side okay once we are here we're gonna create a, a new file so we right click right here and where it say the word 30 bit value and we're gonna type prefer external manifest that's going to be the name of our file so we right click new and where it say the word 32 bits value here I paste the name of this file and I click enter okay now I'm going to right click on this file and I'm gonna select the option for modify in the value as is specified here I'm gonna input the value data of one and select the option for decimal okay decimal right here and we click OK now we are OK click OK and just exit right here the next step will be create a manifest file so how we do this we're gonna go for example to our desktop we right click click on new and we're gonna create a new test document this test document we're gonna call just photoshop.exe for now so I can call just like this photoshop exit right now and we're going to copy this code all this code and I'm going to open the test document that I just created and are going to paste this and I click on save save now I'm going to edit my file name and my file name it will be Photoshop that eze that manifest if you're creating a file for example for Premiere Pro here instead of Photoshop it will be Premiere but how do we know exactly the name of this because we have to go to the folder where it's going to be usually this one program file at ADC Adobe or here depends where is your shortcut for the software and you're going to put a sadly of the EZE file name you're going to put it here I'm gonna do it on this example for Photoshop so I just have to put here that manifest and what will happen here honestly I don't know sometimes what it happens sometimes it doesn't convert the file to manifest it's still on on test file 
So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go to search and I type CMD. CMD is my MS DOS and I'm going to look for this file. So CD, CD that that and my desktop my desktop is right here on this folder so see the users that that's going to depends where you put the, your folder because I put in desktop I just gonna look at uh, the desktop on my MS DOS so I click there and is this is my personal folder and it should be desktop right here CD desktop so here is my file so I just want to change that uh, TST for just uh, manifest okay so what I have to do is here I input the command REN which is rename and I'm going to rename from this file to exactly the same file without TST so I'm renaming this so when I click enter as I can see here I can close this this is not a, a test document anymore it's a manifest file now it's a, another ending okay is that manifest okay so what I'm going to do is copy this file and I'm going to find where is my Photoshop save which is usually on programs file right here Adobe Photoshop CS5 it could be here as well that's going to depend on your computer it could be here as well here is another one and so I'm just gonna do today right here you click here and you enter in your um, folder and you paste it here. It's gonna say uh, you need to provide administration permission to copy to this folder. You just click continue and that will be all. So after that when you open your Photoshop the scale is gonna be correct and, and the software is pretty much right now usable. I hope you like this video. If you have any question Please put some comments below and I will be more than happy to answer any question. Thank you for watching and have a great day.